Hi, thanks for checking out my demonstration. My name is Isaac. I'm a fourth year PhD student in Matthew Fields' lab in the CBE. I'm presenting a BonCat demonstration, activity-based characterization of phycosome communities associated with the alkali-tolerant green alga Chlorella sorokiniana strain SLA04. Of the many algal strains studied at the CBE, SLA04 is one of the best when it comes to biofuel production. We often grow SLA04 under high pH, high alkalinity conditions to enhance delivery of ambient CO2 to the aqueous system. When we look closer at the culture, we see that SLA04 is accompanied by a rich microbial community. In fact, this is a common occurrence in industrial algal cultivation systems. The community of bacteria, archaea, and eukaryotes that grows in association with the host algal cells can be referred to as the phycosome. Here are some images of SLA04 and microbes in the phycosome. We would like to know more about how phycosome activity impacts the growth and productivity of SLA04 in these systems. To do so, we are going to use an activity-based method called BonCat to study the active populations in the microbial community as well as the microbial populations as a whole. Here we have a flask of SLA04 culture grown under high pH, high alkalinity conditions with an example of an algal cell in its associated phycosome community. For those unfamiliar, I would want to introduce the technique called BonCat, or bioorthogonal non-canonical amino acid tagging. BonCat is a tool that allows us to fluorescently label active cells in a culture. BonCat works by utilizing an amino acid analog, like HPG, which is analogous to methionine, and incubating that in our system. Now, any organism that is translationally active or actively synthesizing proteins will incorporate HPG into new proteins. HPG has an alkyne group, which is handy because we can use copper-catalyzed click chemistry to attach a fluorescent probe through azide alkyne bonding. Now, every protein that contains HPG will be fluorescent. This means that cells in the phycosome that are active under the conditions present during the HPG incubation will be fluorescently labeled. Now, we separate the phycosome from the host algal cells and take the cells to the flow cytometer. At the CBE, we have a Sony SH800, which is a very user-friendly flow cytometer. We use fluorescence activated cell sorting, or FACS, to count and sort cells that are differentially labeled with fluorescent probes. We load our phycosome cells into the machine and select the laser that separates our active cells from the unlabeled based on the presence of the yellow fluorescent label. We now take the active fraction of the phycosome communities in parallel with the community as a whole through our sequencing pipeline here in-house at the CBE. Using taxonomic and phylogenetic methods, we have characterized phycosome communities separated into the active, into the bulk community. And credit to Dr. Ian Bowie, a research scientist in Robin Gerlach's lab for her help with this part of my project. Um, we observed differences in community composition between high and low pH and alkalinity conditions. We also have found a few populations that are enriched in the active fractions. Um, this data is from a pilot study, and now we want to take what we have learned and design a similar experiment where we collect more cells so that we can construct active metagenomes of the phycosome communities. And I would be happy to chat more about this method or our findings, uh, so please reach out to me via email or join me in my WebEx room. Thank you.